I've just noticed something. Hold the phone. Look at P21. Hull. Is that Hulkenberg? Are we getting extra drivers in the game? This is new. I've not heard about this. We heard about potentially having, you know, we're going to have more icons and stuff. But we could have Nico Hulkenberg in F122. So does that mean we might get extra drivers as well? That's big. The new F122 trailer is about to drop featuring the gameplay features. We're going to see what it has in store for us. I can already tell on the thumbnail the car models are up to date, or at least some of them are, because the Ferrari on here is the current F175 version. The nose confirms it. We also saw the Alpine about a week ago on the Spain hot lap. So gradually we're starting to see those new car models take place. Leave a like if you're going to enjoy. Let's try and smash over 2,000 likes. Subscribe for more. We're on the road to 100K, guys, on the channel. 100,000 subs. By the end of the year, any help would be massively appreciated. And yeah, let's get into this trailer breakdown and let's see what it has in store for us. Now, first of all, worth noting, this is game engine footage. So this is actual gameplay of the game. I'm not certain the sounds are fully 100% accurate. They did say the sounds we heard in the videos you have seen up until this point are not final. So they have to do a final remix on those, including the Ferrari. But my gut feeling tells me these won't be the actual sounds if they are. These are insane. But anyway, let's break it down. We're watching it at 0.5 speed. Now we get a few little cool action shots here. This feature is about the gameplay, you know, features this trailer. And uh, we're going to, you know, go one by one and break them all down. And I won't talk too much about things we already know. I'm going to focus on some of the details we don't really know much about to give you guys some more insight. So race day redefined. As you know, we have, of course, the formation laps, also the um, pit stops, and then, of course, but besides that, then we also have the new practice programs in the game and loads of new little features, little refinements to make the game a bit more fun and a bit more immersive. Of course, we've got the broadcast system, which we'll see in a moment with the safety car, you know, the, uh, the pit stops as well and the formation laps. So lots of little things featuring, of course, the F1 sprint, which is a big bonus. I'm, I'm glad this is in the game. I think it could add something for sure, especially in career mode and also league racing. Here is the formation lap worth noting here. We have our first look at the updated graphics, which aren't the same as what they were in the alpha version of the videos you have seen up until this point. You can see there's a bit more of a different configuration to the way they look. Still very similar to last year, but you know, just a, a slight difference and a bit more of a refinement and taking a leaf out of real life. But here is our first look at Brazil. Um, then we have Baku here with these graphics and these kind of you know TV shots which we've seen. The grid slot animation, which we've, of course, addressed on the channel with content. And this is our first look at the Alpine from onboard, the actual Alpine A5 double two. Pit stops, again, more immersive broadcast. We've seen that. First look at the actual proper OSD overlays, by the way, in the top left, you can see here, again, taking inspiration from real life. So not just the broadcast graphics, but these have been refined a little bit compared to the alpha version that we had. So good to see that they're still you know, working on things and making sure everything's on point. This is a big one. First time we spoke about this. I was going to make a video tomorrow about this, but pit stop errors are in the game. I do have a secondary thing to talk about, which I'll save for that video that goes hand in hand with this, but this can be avoided. So a new feature on the game. Very, very exciting to see this happen. And I believe this can happen to the AI as well, not just yourself. So big fan of that. As you can see, the mechanic, they're struggling to get the, the, the front left tire off. First look at the safety car, we then get the immersive broadcast system, which of course we've seen on the channel before. Here we have another shot at the new graphics you can see on the top left. I actually quite like it to be fair. Um, quite simplified and in many ways, I think I prefer it to rule life. I find the rule life ones a bit clunky personally, so I actually don't mind these too much. First look at Paul Ricard, as you can see in the background here. Then we get to Singapore. Up next, what is going to be the next feature? We have the practice programs. Right, so let's talk about this a little bit because this was mentioned in a brief a couple of weeks ago. So we have some refined practice programs and it also features some AR system. So essentially um, this one, I believe, is the one where you go through the gates like you always have done traditionally. But this one, this is new. So they have been refined where you're now going to have this kind of you know, let's say way of monitoring your progress in the middle of the screen. And obviously if you go, you know, good or bad, it's going to go towards purple, which is good, or red, which isn't very great. You've got your target in the top right. So this is very interesting, uh, definitely new and something different with the game. As you can see, we've got the same concept applied to different 
programs. In this case, this is the tireware program, it seems like. So good to see we have that kind of carryover. Adaptive AI, we, which we've spoken about before, um, I believe this uh, comes into effect when you race on 99 or lower. So that's when the adaptive AI will kick in and not when it's 100 or 100, 110. So um, yeah, bear that in mind. The race style, which again, we've spoken about before, casual standard expert, no real surprises here. I mean, if you've played the F1 game quite a bit, you're going to be an expert or standard. Casual, of course, for you guys who are new to the game, haven't played it before, that's where you want to be. And depending on which one you select, you'll get a, a, you know, an array of options in terms of what you can select. First look at circuit updates, Abu Dhabi. Let's quickly pull that back. Of course, we saw some screenshots the other day get released. But here's our first look at the modified Abu Dhabi. After that, we have an onboard of an Alpine. Nice little shot of the Williams there. Australia, of course, the new turn six which I can't wait to be fair to drive on the game. I'm really excited about that one. Uh, Australia, then we go to Spain, the new turn 10, of course, a bit more brutal action. And of course, Miami, which is a new circuit in the game, which we've done a 100% race on. If you haven't seen it, link up in the top right. Now then, after this, we're gonna jump into the next section. And by the way, keep your eyes peeled for the actual updated car models. F1 Life, now this is big. And it starts off with a Mercedes here, which is essentially the safety car, but obviously without the, the safety car livery on it, which you can drive in game. As you can see, we've got an Aston Martin here, drifting its way through Baku. That's a, a McLaren, looking at the wheel rim, Ferrari. So we're getting a, you know, an, an array of cars. As you can see, this right here is the big one. So I haven't spoken about F1 Life on the channel yet, so let's talk about it. As you can see, this is essentially a, a main menu or like a loading screen. So for example, if you are in an online lobby, this could be the background setting for the lobby. So for example, this could be four different players in a lobby waiting to start a race. And the more people you have, the more crowded the room is going to get. Within that, you can also show off you know, your, your trophies, your cars or supercars that you own, and also your clothing as well. As you can see here, taking very much, I'd say, GTA vibes slash Sims and some sort of a crossover. And, you know, really cool stuff to be fair, you know, fully... Um, detailed with actual brands and stuff and you know how you dress up your player that's going to show up online so if you go into a lobby you're going to see how other players you know dress up their f1 life character so it's essentially a reflection of yourself you can see here we've got also not just the clothing but all the race suits and stuff the helmets this could well be the starter items for my team so uh, keep an eye on these it looks like uh, these are the baseline versions so uh, good to see we've got a few options there not as many as i would have liked but still same as the last few years and yeah, here, here you have basically the customization so you can see just here you can kind of run through you know different points different things you want to change helmet glove suit hats uh, clothing shoe celebrations radio this is going to be the new kind of you know main menu basically which i really like it adds a bit more of a human feel you can see you can customize your lounge per se which is what's going to be shown off publicly your art as well and you can see here just adding more depth and detail of course the supercars you can see here we've got bay one bay three bay two uh, not fully sure how that is but in this case we have a safety car here which you can play in game. You can drive it in time trial, I believe. So yeah, really cool to see you can actually drive the safety cars, both safety cars this year, the Aston Martin as well. There is another Mercedes you can see here, just getting some bit more depth really into these supercars and the kind of environments you're gonna have in game. And then the trophy cabinet, which I like because on F1 2021 and 2020, you could win trophies, championships, and you'd win them and get an email and that's it. At least now we can actually see them. They're, they're going to be visually present, which is great. So a big fan of this as it's a bit of a throwback really to F1 2006 and stuff like that where you had a trophy cabinet back in the day. So yeah, like that. Big details, but they go a long way. Enhancements. So my team, this is a, a big one. I might do a separate video on this at some point, but you can see here we get our first look at the new menus here with the new car in the background. Definitely a new livery, which is good to see. And we've got a few... You know let's say changes to the department events that's a big thing this year which i'll mention in a future video but you can see we've got a bit more of a different layout and the consequences of how these work are going to be different this year so there's going to be a bit more to it and a bit more depth and all of this stuff in my team by the way carries over to co-op or two-player career so if you have any questions about that bear that in mind all of the my team stuff will carry over to two-player career 
Here we get a bit more of the new kind of animations of the celebrations. I'm going to pause it here real quick because we might get to see some of the new uh, models. I haven't seen the Mercedes yet as a final. I'm yet to see that one. That's the only car that I don't think they've done yet. Red Bull as well, I believe. After that, Ferrari is done. I've seen that. The McLaren in this particular one is a final model. Uh, Alpine as well. You can tell by the different kind of side pods and the nose and stuff. If you look at the uh, McLaren, for example, you see different the nose concept, the side pod profile. All those things are, are noticeably different. Alpine, or in this case, AlphaTauri, sorry. Um, this looks like the actual model as well. The side pod, the nose comes down really low. Aston Martin as well looks like the actual model by the looks of it because of the floor, the side pod, and that kind of squared off nose. Um, we're not going to see any more in this case, but I did see others which I'll pull up later on. Worth noting here, we have the same components as always with um, the gearbox now moved to the main page, which is good to see, which is a bit more you know logical, a bit more efficient, which I like. So all these components can now be managed on the main page and you have four gearboxes this year to choose from. So good to see that on the uh, the engine side of things. Then we have single and two player career contract negotiations, which you know hasn't really changed much to be fair same old story there really um what i will say actually is we might get an early preview at the performance chart which this is what they have it looks like for now this could change of course closer to launch but seems about right this has definitely been updated you know alfa romeo full fastest with bottas alpine up there as well i don't mind this i think they've definitely based this off bahrain because mclaren have taken a step forward since um, other than that, I would say it's not too bad in terms of accuracy. But let's keep rolling on then. So we've got uh, all the little circuits here. You can see um, Singapore as we run through the final details. So split screen, multiplayer, back again, of course, two player career as well, as I mentioned earlier on. So all those gameplay features are there in the game this year. And back again. And then I think we're pretty much done with this trailer F2 as well. If you guys are keen on that, I haven't really done much to be fair on last year's game, but good to see f2 always in the game extra content doesn't do any harm as we don't have classic cars this year by the way so you know this is probably the best you're going to get and i think that's pretty much it at this point yeah that's it so we just get a shot of miami a shot of the ferrari really nice actually you know detailed shot there of uh, jedda with some racing action there's hungary with the updated tasks and yeah pretty much back to the beginning with austria and that's it job done decent trailer a lot to unpack and a few more details I'd like to talk about further down the line. So uh, I'm just going to quickly pull up a few store frames here and show you the updated cars when I get a chance. Yeah, there we go pretty much i don't have much more to add you've seen the car models and it looks like we're gonna get free agent drivers which is big the rest of the trailer is pretty standard we've seen most of the features in gameplay i will do a second video in a couple of days time talking about features you might have missed or going into more detail with certain things but other than that guys hopefully you enjoyed it. leave a like subscribe for more if you enjoyed it and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one as always a massive plug to the members finally check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them already and i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care and let's goodbye from me